Speaking of stable jobs, the first of Korea's biannual recruitment season is officially underway. Major companies like Samsung and SK announced openings today. Unfortunately, many of the big names are choosing to cut down on the number of new hires this season. Oh Soo Young explains why there could be more angst in store for young job seekers vying for these coveted corporate positions. It's job hunting season in Korea, as the country's biggest companies are looking to fill new positions in the first half of this year. Lee Gyeong-ha is a senior in university and is preparing to submit her applications. She's just one of the estimated 600,000 in the country, hoping to land their first job this season. I'm right now preparing for jobs in big conglomerates such as LG, Samsung and Hyundai Motor. So, um, as a student majoring in business administration, I'm trying to do my best to seek opportunities out there. Like E, about 72% of first-time job seekers will compete for positions at Korea's corporate giants during the first half of this year. Recent survey findings show that CJ Group tops the list among young job seekers for the most desired conglomerate positions, followed by SK, Samsung and LG. Hopes are high, but the possibility is relatively low. Despite the government's efforts to increase the number of full-time jobs for young people, openings at large companies have shrunken significantly this time around. A recent survey reveals that almost half of Korea's largest companies will not be offering new full-time positions to college graduates this season, with only 36% willing to employ new workers. In fact, the number of openings are expected to be reduced by 4.8% on average. The construction sector will make the biggest cut of almost 30% compared to last year, manufacturing by 18% and the finance sector by 10%. Employers in the food and beverage, IT and service sectors also plan to offer fewer positions. Experts say this is due to the country's sluggish economic conditions. Hiring and training new employees adds a big financial burden, so both conglomerates and small and medium firms will likely hire fewer workers this year. It may seem like some conglomerates have increased new jobs, but most of them are internships or scholarship programs, not full-time positions. With the youth unemployment rate in January having reached a 16-year high at 9.5 percent, it seems that first-time job seekers should prepare themselves for the toughest competition yet. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.